going on YouTube? Rob from KY Constrictors back with another video. And most of y'all know me to be a snake person. Yes, I am a snake person. And this is my highway, Adaria. She's a beautiful girl. Getting some great size on her. I'm hoping next year might be the year. So, with any luck, this girl gets up to size. I can breed her and make some fabulous babies for you. Well, and me. But anyways, not the reason for this video. Like I said, most of you know I'm a snake guy. But I also had several lizards. And a couple of those lizards are carnivorous, meaning they eat meat. Well, I'm going to show you how to make a monitor mush, basically what I call it. Anyway, stay tuned, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you an awesome recipe for your monitors that they'll love, and that your wallet will also love. So, how to make a monitor mush. First off, I want to go over the ingredients and explain why I use what ingredients I use. So, I'll just say, this is a pretty simple recipe. I mean, it's four ingredients. But if you need to, I will give you a minute right now to go grab pen and paper so you can write this down. So hopefully you got, had time to grab that pen and paper. But I'm telling you you're not going to need it. First off, I use ground turkey. And I want to find something that has no preservatives, no added hormones, or steroids. I also want to grab something that is at least 90% lean. That way you don't have too much fat content. Something like 80% not be that would, that's not good. Usually I grab the 99% lean, but they were sold out where it was on sale. Just my luck, but let me tell you, 93% works just fine. 93, 92, you know how it goes. Next off, as y'all know, my wife has chickens and ducks and all that. So I got the luxury of cage free country eggs so I know what goes into my chickens I know what comes out of my chickens and that is a good healthy egg no steroids no hormones no nothing no antibiotics that is grade A top quality egg that doesn't contain any of that crap not sure if it gets passed on from the chicken to the egg but I can only assume that it would so just so you know, if you have access to country eggs, support your local farmers, guys. All right, next thing is I use a half a teaspoon of each of my next two ingredients. And that is calcium. Doesn't matter what brand, just a rep to calcium. And some type of vitamin. In this case, I got Vionate and also have Reptivite. Either one will work. I'm, I prefer Vionate just because it's awesome stuff. Has a little bit more texture to it. Uh, this is what I'm gonna use for this monitor bush. So now, I'll show you how to mix it up. The next ingredient, you need a butt knife. Not really, just if you're a kid doing this, Get your parents to help you and always be safe and do not cut towards you. Always cut away from you. That's a tough piece of plastic out there. And be safe and close that knife back up. So, pretty much, you want to get the turkey out and put it in a decent sized container, something that's going to hold all these ingredients. And guys, very important to change up your monitor's diet. 
you don't want to feed them the same thing every day because they get bored they like enrichment and I'll tell you right now most people have probably never done this for their monitors and if you have kudos to you and you can probably vouch that monitors love this I've seen monitors eat it on other videos uh, I've never give my monitor this so it's gonna be some enrichment for him he's gonna have to figure out what it is he's gonna know it's food he's gonna be excited to eat it but anyway I'll show you right here what I do with my eggs and that is you want to crumble that up and I always leave the shell in but you want to break that shell up the shell is a good source of calcium for the monitor itself I'm going to mix it all up mush going it's a messy mush that's why I'm wearing gloves trust me you don't want to go in this barehanded I mean you can you can wash your hands I guess but it's very messy I'm telling you the monitor will love this that's a pound of turkey to two eggs if it's an extra large or a jumbo egg, you can probably just get away with one. But those are pretty small eggs. Probably a medium egg. Anyway, this is kind of what you want. You want that smoosh. You want it well mixed. You want the small pieces of uh, eggshell. Definitely go through and make sure that you get those eggshells broke up pretty good. Something that ain't gonna hurt your monitor because they're gonna gulp this straight down. I'm not sure, you know, bearded dragons or stuff like this. I wouldn't think so. But Tegus love this. Uh, Savannah monitors love it. Nile monitors, Asian water monitors. Pretty much any carnivorous lizard and anyway I'm gonna get this cleaned up I'll be right back okay so now it's time to that's what you want right there it's time to add the vitamins like I said you want to use I'm gonna use a half teaspoon of calcium calcium is a good good supplement to put in this they need calcium guys you don't want them to pick up metabolic bone disease and then a good vitamin something like Vionate or Reptivite I'm going to do the same only I'm going to put a heaping half teaspoon and you just want to spread it around the best you can it doesn't really matter if you do or not because Guess what? Time to get messy again. So you want to mix this up. Kind of mix it in a circular motion. Try to keep it off the sides of the bowl. Get it into the meat mixture. Alright. And you, if you're thinking that it kind of looked runny, it probably did. But the longer this sits in the refrigerator, you don't want to let it sit like a week, but you know, a couple hours in the refrigerator and it'll thicken right up. But right there is probably a good, my monitor is about six months old. You know, he's about a foot long. You know, right here's a, a good size meal for him right here. Maybe a little much, but you see how much I make. And uh, as a lizard owner, I already had the vitamins, so I didn't have to go out and buy that. I had the chicken eggs due to my wife's chickens, so $3, guys. And I'm probably going to feed my monitor, I don't know, four or five times off this, so can't complain. There you, there you have it, monitor mush.
guys so there you have it that's how I make my monitor mush I ended up with five containers so five different meals four will go in the freezer because you want this to stay fresh as possible best way to do it throw it in the freezer now keep one out and let him enjoy anyways if you're new to my channel make sure to like Hit that subscribe button, punch that notification bell so you know when I upload a video. Also, I'm going to be doing two live videos a week. Going for Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, that type of deal. Anyways, guys, make sure you be good or be good at it. Give your monitors some enrichment. Yeah, yeah.